Hello Chromebook users, this is Jim Clary. I'm the Senior Geek. What we're going to do here is add a printer so you'll be able to take advantage of um, one of the great features of your new Chromebook and that is the ability to print things like web pages, recipes, etc. in um, a reasonable format. We've all probably experienced while we can connect our printers to our iPads and our iPhones uh, they don't print very well a lot of times, particularly web pages. You get big text in the thousand pages, it seems. Also, you can't just print a single page. So, let's get started with this. Okay, we've got here, uh, remember, we want to get to settings. Remember from our earlier video on the web inter on the interface, uh, you clicked on the clock, brings up your menu, and then we just simply push settings. Now, we could... We could scroll down to find printers, add printers, but it's easier. Let's just use the search feature. P-R-I-N-T should be enough. And you see here we get printers and a little arrow over here. So we click that. If your printer shows up here, you've already got it made because it, it, it found it automatically. If it doesn't, like it did in this particular case, you've got a little more work to do. Uh, you could do learn more to, to walk you through it. Okay, let's see. Connect to the internet. We've done that. Add your printer to your Chromebook. Okay, we've gone through advanced printers, add printer. We just circumvented all of this by the search bar. Uh, if you didn't see it, then you've got to add it to uh, your printer manually. If you did see it, you can go on to print page, and I'll come back to a second with that to, and show you how we can do that. Okay, so we got to add it manually. So to add it manually, you'll go through the, the same things. Um, now, on the add manually, let's just, uh, you can, by the way, you can flip back and forth. One of the real nice things of Chromebook, of course, is the ability to flip back and forth. We could even put these, if we really wanted to get fancy, uh, we could use our fancy little, remember, you just click on this, whoops, click on this, go over here. And then we could click on this up here, and we could do it to the right. And we got a split screen. So uh, that might even be a little nicer way of doing it. Again, um, using some of the advantages. Okay, let's see. Uh, add printer. And uh, here it says your name. Any name, I'm going to call it home. And the address. Now the address, uh, that's not your street address. Uh, it is the what we call the internet protocol, the IP address of the, of the printer. Each device on your network has an address. Um, you may be able to get it off of your um, uh, printer itself. There may be a menu, and if there is, if you can find network, generally in status, you can find out what the internet protocol address was. If you can't, uh, you might want to search for Google, just search for uh, identify IP address for in brother printer for example this is a this is a brother printer it may be able to tell you that way if not contact myself for one of your other uh, more advanced people and they can probably grab it for you there's some other things you can do off your router because it lists all of the devices that are on there but way beyond the context of this I happen to know that my IP address is 192.168 point three point nine nine okay and the protocol they say to leave at ipp so we'll we'll do that we'll just say add bingo got it so i'm i'm good to go sometimes here too you will see it will look for drivers if it does uh, it'll give you a model selection and all and indeed you you need to go through um you need to go through that as well Okay, now that we got our printer done, let's go over and see about using it. So to do that, I'm going to go back and make my web page big again, and I'm going to go Control P for print. I'm going to print just this one page. You say, you see now, he says save as PDF. Well, on the destination, I definitely want to change that to my new printer. So I go home. So that's if it doesn't say your printer name there, you'll need to change that. Um, now, I always like to say paper. I go two-sided. Again, you can't do that on your iOS, iOS device. And also, we're, we're just going to do a test, so we're only going to print one page. The first page, excuse me. Just the, the first page. So, we just go print. And uh, you can see it is printing now, as it says here. 
and we should be done in just a moment. Heard my printer fire up, and uh, away we go. Anyway, hopefully that'll get your printer set up. As I say, if you need to, if it if it's really getting complex, um, you can do one of two things. Number one, buy a new printer. They're pretty cheap now, and a new printer will probably just pop on immediately. Or secondly, you can contact myself or somebody else to help you help you get your um, printer set up manually. Hopefully you find this useful. If you do, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to describe, to describe, I always say describe, subscribe to our, this um, YouTube channel, The Senior Geek. Thank you for your attention. I hope to see you in some other um, uh, how-tos here on getting your Chromebook all set up, getting yourself familiar with it, and away you go. Take care now. Bye.